Hey guys, Gina here. Oh my gosh, you guys, the holidays are finally past and we can start focusing back on ba -ba -da -ba, the best holiday of the year, Halloween. You guys, I have been going to yard sales and thrifting and I finally got a chance to go to the bins. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh at me, but on Mother's Day, my husband said, what do you want to do? Do you want to get chocolate, flowers, go out to dinner? What do you want to do? I said, I want to go to the Goodwill outlet and search through all of the bins. And I did. And it was awesome. I haven't been able to go before because um, during COVID, they didn't let children in there. But now they do. He has to stay in the cart, which is okay. But you guys finally got to go get my hands dirty and dig through all of the stuff and it was totally worth it. I've been watching a ton of YouTubers go and I was always so jealous because I wanted to go but haha Mother's Day happened and we all went as a family and we all found some fun stuff so I'm glad we went. But yard sales you guys so February and March eh, they were okay. I found a couple of things but man as soon as April hit everybody was coming out and bringing out their goods and you guys last year if you watched I was putting you know all of my holiday stuff in tubs and I was just pulling them out and then sorting them into collection videos well you guys I had a really good two months so <laughs> here we are halfway through May and I already have enough stuff to show you guys some awesome finds and I didn't want to wait because I just have a feeling everybody's been cleaning their houses and waiting to just get rid of this stuff and so I think we're gonna have a lot of good videos this summer on a lot of fun Halloween finds plus I also have like two tubs full of vintage Christmas you guys and there is some really awesome stuff in there even some one-of-a-kind stuff so I'm gonna show you Halloween because you know Halloween is just around the corner and of course it's my favorite for this video everybody loves a blow mold so I thought I would share with you guys my blow mold find so far for 2021 so since I was already talking about the Goodwill bins you guys I literally walked into the door scoped it out looked around saw the madness that was going on talked to the guy for a second and then once I got my cart and started moving towards the bins, you guys, the very first thing I saw was this. You guys are thinking, oh, it's just an old vintage ordinary pumpkin pail. No, you guys, it happened to be an AJ Renzi pumpkin. You guys, the very first thing I found at the Goodwill bins was a vintage pumpkin. Oh my gosh, how cool is this? And it's got the trick or treat and the cat it's amazing so i knew this was a good start to the day you guys have seen these before right so these were found in the goodwill bins they were new they came in the package and these are just you know the little containers that you can put stuff or decorate with and there were three of those so i grabbed those i'm not sure if these ones are vintage or not sometimes it's hard to tell the package really didn't tell me much so it could have been from the dollar store last year or it could have been from 20 years ago does anyone know a way to tell that that might be kind of cool so another exciting thing was i've always seen on these facebook groups of people finding blow molds on the curb that never ever ever happens here and you guys i drive a lot of streets on saturday and i've never seen a blow mold just laying out on the curb now it's probably gonna happen but i did see a sign for an estate sale and so of course i turned to go to it and there's a little pile of trash over by a dumpster. And guess what was there? Uh, well, this is this is what I'm gonna call my closest thing to a curb find. But I found a ginormous, huge pumpkin blow mold. And yes, of course, as you can tell, he's seen a little bit better days, but I think I can clean him up. I can spray paint him. Um, I've been following along on a couple different blow mold forms and stuff like that and they have techniques of how to fix it with, you know, different options. I mean, there's a ton of options out there. So I think I'm going to try my hand at this. I may film it if anybody is interested in seeing how to repair, repair a blow mold. But yeah, that's something that I'm going to try to do this summer. Maybe Harrison can help me. 
but you guys, I did end up finding another free blow mold. This one was on a, like a, hey, I'm giving this stuff away for free. First person to come and get it, get it. So of course, you know, I rounded the family up and we got in the car and I was like, go as fast as you can without speeding and running red lights or whatever. Oh, I want this blow mold. <laughs> and so that one was this one and he's beautiful. So I'm getting myself a whole little horde of pumpkins blow molds. So this was really exciting. This one is general foam and it doesn't have a date on it. So this could be a fairly new one or it could be a little bit more vintage, but these ones are pretty popular. You can find these ones online. People post them and list them a lot. And then one more big pumpkin and he has his cord is this guy i got him for a dollar at a yard sale and that was fun because i never find halloween blow molds at yard sales but this guy was there and he was on a stick a stake and the thing is i asked the guy i said how much do you want for him he said a dollar i said sold i couldn't walk to the yard sale fast enough and uh someone literally right after me came and was like um, how much for the pumpkin? And the guy was like, sorry, it's already sold. And I was like, whoo, man, if I had been 30 seconds later, he would have gone to a different home and I would have been bummed watching him drive away. But I got him, so that was awesome. Another thing for free was off of Facebook Marketplace. Someone was giving away two of these, someone took one and I got the other one. But you guys, look at how awesome this Mickey treat pail is. I don't know if it's just like a place to store candy. It doesn't have a handle, so maybe it is just a little bu bucket, but there's no date on it. But it does glow in the dark, and it's so funny because he's in my laundry room right now, and then whenever I turn the light on to go, like, you know, check the laundry or something at nighttime and then turn the light off, he glows his little Mickey face. So I just thought that was really neat. I'm gonna say this was from the past five years or so, but that was a cool freebie to get. This guy was at a thrift store and he doesn't have a handle either. So I'm thinking that he's just a little treat pail. And that's really cool because all my other ones are buckets or pails. And so this will be my first one that's just a little like treat holder. This one is not marked. Then every once in a while, you guys, when I'm on eBay, there is a too good to pass up offer. For $80, they had four blow molds and I already had two of them. And so I ended up selling them at the Spooky Swap Meet, if you guys watched that video a couple videos back. But I did get these two and it was so worth it. This has been one I have been wanting on my bucket list for a long time. I love the tabletop blow molds. I love them because they're easier to store <laughs> and they're just so darn cute. And oh my gosh, this one has such great detail if you can see that. And they didn't come with light cords, but I just happened to be at another yard sale a couple weeks afterwards. And someone had all of those Christmas villages and they had all this stuff pulled out and they had a ton of extra <laughs> light cords and they're perfect. And they even have the metal to put in the back. And I just grabbed a handful of them because they said they were only 50 cents a piece. So that was a ganga deal. But going back to that eBay lot, you guys, this is another one that I have been wanting for a very long time. And now I have him. So I thought that that lot was awesome because I ended up selling those other two and it came out basically free because these two then were paid for. So that worked out really well. It doesn't always happen like that. You don't always come across deals like that, but that was just too good of an offer to pass up and these guys are so cute and i've kind of been displaying them in my bedroom <laughs> already and i need to put some lights in them now but let's see do these guys have makers on them i don't think they do this one is an empire for anyone who is wondering but for anyone who does want to know there is a website that tells you 
all of the blow molds and it's called blowmolded.com and there's a ton of information and it's a lot of fun just to scroll through the pages and see all of the different blow molds there are and have been for many, many, many years. And it's just a lot of fun to check out. And then if you do have blow molds and you're curious like, hey, is this from the 50s, 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, whatever, um, all that information is in there too. And it's organized really well. And I think they keep upgrading it. And so like you can have your own account where you can make your own like wish list or what you have already. It's pretty cool. So definitely go check that out at blowmolded.com. I've got one more thing to show you that is Kind of a blow mold, but kind of not. It's this foam cat right here. I have a big cat, and I'm not sure that I showed you guys in a collection video last year that's made out of foam, but this can be his little brother now. <laughs> but it's just so adorable, and this I got at a yard sale. Um, the guy had a bunch of little Halloween things, but this was mixed in with it. This one is 1996, the Matrix Industries Limited, made in China, but it's just too cute. And of course, I love cats, I love pumpkins, so it's a perfect mix. And he does light up, so that's very cool. Well guys, I just wanted to update you on my blow mold situation for Halloween. You guys, it's been fun. I love finding these things. This is probably one of my favorite things to collect. I do love the tabletop ones. There are a ton of them still that I need to find out there. I'm gonna try to stay off of eBay unless that good deal comes up again. <laughs> then of course, you know, I'm gonna click the buy button. But yeah, you guys, this is, this is awesome. I'm excited to add them to my collection. Um, I did end up getting rid of my duplicates at the Spooky Swap Meet and um, yeah, if the deal is right, you know I'll be buying it, especially at the yard sales. <laughs> and if you go to the bins and you find it and it's super light, that's even better. They only charge 79 cents a pound at um, my bin, so I thought that was really cool. Well, that's the one in Ventura. The one in Los Angeles is like a dollar something. So. If you guys want to know where to go the bins in LA, there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed this update of the Halloween blow mold situation I have going on here so far this year. I'm, sh I'm sure I will come across a couple more before Halloween 2021. I hope I do anyway. That would be awesome, especially some of the tabletop blow molds I don't have yet. And I'll try to stay off of eBay unless there's another good deal because that was pretty awesome. But that doesn't happen very often. But I can't say it doesn't ever happen because it does. Anyway, enough rambling, you guys. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for checking out my video. I have a ton of other collection videos you guys may want to go check out. We also have a ton of project videos. We've done Ghostbusters. We're doing He-Man, Masters of the Universe right now. We've done Haunted Houses. You guys just got to go check out our channel and snoop around for a little bit and hope you guys find some stuff that you like. I have two more thrifting estate sale goodwill bin whatever I found Halloween so far this year videos coming up so definitely stay tuned for that all right you guys I hope you have a wonderful day oh and if you guys are curious about my shirt this is from lucky hellcat and you guys definitely go check her out she has a ton of awesome shirts all right you guys take care all right Harrison what did you think of the goodwill bins what did we find? <laughs> well, here, you can just talk to mommy about it, okay? Okay. Just, just tell me, okay. All right, Harrison, what did you think of the Goodwill bins? You finally got to go. We waited all year to go. You had to sit in the cart though, huh? But it was okay. And mommy kept handing you toys and things, huh? But first we got some lights. Yeah, we did get some yeah, lights. Yeah, yeah and um, of course, I don't know why there's um, little paper clips. <laughs> well, mommy's been, mommy's been filming some other videos, but as far as the blow molds go, we found an AJ Renzi pumpkin, huh? That was our first thing we found. Wait, right here. Yeah, mommy put it back already, but... <laughs> but, you know, right here had a little, um, wet. Yeah, a little accident, huh? But, well, thank you for taking me 
to the Goodwill Dens for Mother's Day. I loved it so much, and I love that you got to go with me finally. But <laughs> the, the paper clips. <laughs> He's distracted by paper clips on the floor. Yeah. yeah. Thank you so much for taking me to the bins for Mother's Day. I loved it. I love you. <laughs> You're wiggle warm.